Hello, I'm Yi Shuang from HarveyMandarin.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn the tone change rules for Yi. In my previous lesson, we learned the tone change rules for Bu. If you haven't seen that lesson yet, please watch it first. The default tone for Yi, the number one, is the first tone, the high level tone. Yi keeps its default tone when it's used in a series of numbers, in dates and times, when it's used as an ordinal number, and when it's used at the end of a word or sentence. I'm going to call this the let it be E rule. When this rule applies, E keeps its default tone, the first tone. Let's look at some examples. The let it be E rule applies when E is used in a series of numbers. For example, one, two, three in Chinese is E R San. The year 1991 is 1991年. In Chinese, when we say the year, we say it digit by digit as a series of numbers. 1991 means 1991, and 年 means year. And room 201 is 2001房间. 2001 means 201, and 房间 means room. In each of these examples, the number one, E, keeps its default tone, the first tone. The let it be E rule also applies when E is used in dates and times. For example, January 1st is 1月1号. 301 is 3.01. And 1 o'clock is 1.00. The let it be E rule also applies when E is used as an ordinal number. Ordinal numbers give the order of things rather than the amount of things. For example, first, second, and third are ordinal numbers. When E is used as an ordinal number, it means first. The most common way to make ordinal numbers in Chinese is by putting D in front of the number. For example, Di means first. Di yi ci, the first time. And di yi ke, the first lesson. Sometimes yi by itself has the meaning first. For example, with dates, when you say yi yue, it means the first month, January, not one month. And yi hao refers to the first day, not one day. Also, with times, when you say 一点, it refers to the first hour, one o'clock, not one hour. This is the reason why dates and times are part of the let it be E rule. They are actually using E as an ordinal number. There are other cases in Chinese where E means first. In those cases, E will follow the let it be E rule and keep its default tone. Finally, the let be E rule applies when E is used at the end of a word or sentence. For example, the word wei yi, which means so or only. The phrase yi fang wan yi, which means just in case. And the sentence ta xin kou bu yi, which literally means his heart and mouth do not agree. In other words, he is not saying what he thinks. Okay, let's try applying the let it be E rule to some Chinese words and phrases to see if E should keep its default tone. 十月一号 means October 1st. Does the let it be E rule apply? 十月一号 is a date, so it follows the let it be E rule. E should keep its default tone, the first tone. 十月一号, October 1st. 2011年 means the year 2011. 2011 is a series of numbers, so it follows the let it be E rule. E should keep its default tone, the first tone. 2011年, the year 2011. 第一页 means the first page. Here, E is used as an ordinal number, meaning first, so it follows the let it be E rule. E should keep its default tone, the first tone. 第一页, the first page. 
Yi xie means some. Here, yi appears at the beginning of the word yi xie. It's not a series of numbers, a date or time, or an ordinal number, and it's not at the end of a word or sentence. So the let it be yi rule does not apply. When the let it be yi rule does not apply, yi will have the same tones that bu would have in the same situation, and the tone for yi will depend on the next syllable. If you remember from my lesson on the bu tone change rules, when bu is followed by a syllable that uses the first, second, or third tone, bu has the fourth tone, the falling tone. And when bu is followed by a syllable that uses the fourth tone, then bu changes to the second tone, the rising tone. Similarly, if the let it be e rule does not apply, then e will have the same tones that bu would have. In this case, if e is followed by a syllable that uses the first, second, or third tone, then e will be pronounced with the fourth tone, the falling tone. And if e is followed by a syllable that uses the fourth tone, then e will change to the second tone, the rising tone. Let's look at some examples. We were just looking at yi xie, which means some, and saw that the let it be yi rule did not apply. In this case, the tone for yi depends on the next syllable, xie, which uses the first tone. So yi should be pronounced with the falling tone, yi xie, some. Yi zhi means all along. Here, the let it be yi rule does not apply, and yi is followed by the syllable zhi, which uses the second tone. So again, yi should be pronounced with the falling tone, yi zhi, all along. Yi qi means together. Here, the let it be yi rule does not apply either, and yi is followed by the syllable qi, which uses the third tone. So once again, yi should be pronounced with the falling tone. Yi qi, together. Yi yang means the same. Here, the let it be yi rule does not apply either, and yi is followed by the syllable yang, which uses the fourth tone. So in this case, Yi should change to the second tone, the rising tone. Yi yang, the same. To summarize, if the let the yi rule applies, then yi has its default tone, the first tone. Otherwise, if yi is followed by a syllable that uses the first, second, or third tone, then yi will change to the fourth tone. Or if yi is followed by a syllable that uses the fourth tone, then yi will change to the second tone. I also want to give you two common cases where the let the e rule does not apply, so the tone for e will change depending on the next syllable. When e is followed by a measure word, the let the e rule does not apply, and the tone for e will depend on the tone of the measure word. Also, when e is followed by a number word to say 100, 1000, or any larger number word, the let it be e rule does not apply, and the tone for e will depend on the tone of the number word. Let's look at some examples of e followed by a measure word. Yi ge ren means one person. Here, e is followed by the measure word ge, so the let it be e rule does not apply. Ge uses the fourth tone, so e should change tones to the second tone, the rising tone. Yi ge ren, one person. Yi bei cha means one cup of tea. Here, yi is followed by the measure word bei, so the let it be yi rule does not apply. Bei uses the first tone, so yi should be pronounced with the falling tone. Yi bei cha, one cup of tea. Yi zhi mao means one cat. Here, yi is followed by the measure word zhi, so the let it be yi rule does not apply. Zhi uses the first tone, so yi should be pronounced with the falling tone. Yi zhi mao, one cat. Now, let's look at some examples of yi followed by a number word. Yi bai means 100. Here, yi is followed by the number word bai, 100. So the let it be yi rule does not apply. Bai uses the third tone, 
So e should be pronounced with the falling tone. 一百 one hundred. 一千 means one thousand. Here e is followed by the number word 千 thousand. So the let it be e rule does not apply. 千 uses the first tone, so e should be pronounced with the falling tone. 一千 one thousand. 一万 means ten thousand. Here e is followed by the number word one ten thousand. So the let it be e rule does not apply. One uses the fourth tone, so e should change to the second tone, the rising tone. 一万 ten thousand. Okay, let's have a quiz. I don't want to give away the tones, so instead of saying the Chinese phrase, I'm just going to ask you what tone e should have. In the phrase that means one chicken, does the let it be e rule apply? What tone should e have? Correct. Here e is followed by the measure word zhi, so the let it be e rule does not apply. Zhi uses the first tone, so e should be pronounced with the falling tone. 一只鸡 one chicken. In the phrase that means one teacher, does the let it be e rule apply? What tone should e have? That's right. Here e is followed by the measure word ge, so the let it be e rule does not apply. Ge uses the falling tone, so e should change to the second tone, the rising tone. 一个老师 one teacher. In the phrase that means a little bit, does the let it be e rule apply? What tone should e have? Correct. Here, the let it be e rule does not apply, and e is followed by the syllable dr, which uses the third tone. So e should be pronounced with the falling tone, e dr, a little bit. In the phrase that means May first, does the let it be e rule apply? What tone should e have? Exactly, 五月一号 is a date. So it follows the let it be e rule. E should keep its default tone, the first tone. 五月一号 May first. In the phrase that means one o one, does the let it be e rule apply? What tone should e have? Exactly, 一点零一 is the time. So it follows the let it be e rule. E should keep its default tone, the first tone. 一点零一 one o one. Great job. There is one other common situation where e changes tones. If you duplicate a verb and put e between them, it indicates that the action of the verb is done briefly and can also be used to suggest that someone give something a try. For example, the verb 看 means to look. 看一看 means have a quick look. When using e between a duplicated verb, the whole phrase is said fairly quickly. And to make it easier to say, e changes tones to the neutral tone. This is similar to the tone change rule for 不 when 不 is used to ask yes/no questions. Please repeat after me. 看一看，看一看，看一看。Have a quick look. Here are a few more examples. The verb 想 means to think. 想一想 means to think for a bit. Please repeat after me. 想一想，想一想，想一想 ，think for a bit. The verb 尝 means to taste. 尝一尝 means to give it a quick taste. Please repeat after me. 尝一尝，尝一尝，尝一尝。Give it a quick taste. Before ending this lesson, I wanted to take some time to thank Arthur from Poland for supporting Harvey Mandarin. Thank you, Arthur. 谢谢你 If you would like to make a contribution in any amount via PayPal to support my YouTube lessons. 
please follow the Support Harbi Mandarin link at the end of this video. Thank you very much. Okay, that's all for this lesson. I hope you have found this lesson useful. Did you enjoy this lesson? Please click like below and leave me a comment. If you are interested in my private Chinese lessons, please visit my website harbinmandarin.com and send me a message. I'll see you guys next time. 再见。